Hi folks, this is video three of what I hope will turn out to be ten videos of my filming my 500 golf ball collection. I've got an entire sack of golf balls with logos I've saved over the years. So let's get to it. This is the video third video, so this is roughly... Vid um, I've, I've already filmed roughly 100 golf balls, so this will be roughly number 100 to 150. Very roughly. So let's go through them. Pack in style. Um, okay, Derek Barrett, I believe that is, Derek Barrett, packing style, so presumably a removal firm, Ultra, Wilson 432, uh, so that would date to between about eight, 1986 and 1990 or so, I believe, okay, next. Cellular Mouldings Limited. Okay, don't know anything about that particular company. Uh, Top Flight XL2 by Spaulding. So probably dates to about 1990, 1991, some, somewhere around there, I would guess. Again, if you really want to, you can Google any of this information, try and work out when Top Flight XL2s came out, see how accurate I am, if you really want to know. Off the top of my head, um, over 30 years later, yeah, I would say this is probably about somewhere between 89 and 91 that I've had that. Right, next, AT&T, huge American company. Unfortunately, as you can see, this ball is split. And it's on a X out ball anyway, DT Titleist, 384 DT. Yeah, the ball is hammered, basically, so... AT&T, uh, American company, on an X out, I'm afraid, so, anyway. Next, WRS, that's a really nice logo. Very colourful. Titleist, 384 PTS 90, so again, this will be one of the ones I've had since between 86 and about 1990, 1991, maybe. Okay, don't know anything about that company. Next, NT, Northern Telecom. Um, don't know if that's a British brand or American. Sounds more like a possibly an American company. So on both... Ah, well, that's weird. Northern Telecom is all that's on the ball. But that, surely that's not, that's not a ball make, is it? So uh, someone explain that one to me. Northern Telecom... On the ball, and that's it. So there's no ball make, just that logo. So I'm not sure about that. Northern Telecom. Hmm. Uh, and again, I've probably had that from between '86 and about 1990, I would say. So the ball could date to any time before that, but that's when I've had it since. Next, that's like quite a nice logo. The Sea Ranch Golf Links. Uh, that looks almost like a. That's supposed to be like a ram. Maybe. The Sea Ranch Golf Links. Don't know anything about that. TC2 Tour Ball, which is Wilson Distance. Um, pretty sure that's probably one of the ones that dates to about the year 2000. That's not one of the ones I've had from my usual time when I was collecting between about 87 and 1990 or so. So I reckon that's from probably about the year 2000. Next, oh, this is a nice one, very nice one. Glen Eagles with a beautiful bird of prey as the logo. Is that supposed to be an osprey or a golden eagle? I don't know. Anyway, very nice logo. That dirt would come off, I can tell. That's just a little bit of soil. Glen Eagles, uh, golf club, isn't that in Scotland, I believe? On a B51 XTC ball, and that's Slazenger made the B51 balls, but it doesn't say Slazenger on there. Uh, so again, I've had this somewhere between 86 and about 1990. That's a nice one. Very nice one. Like that. Next, I remember this one, Nil Britannia. Uh, don't know what that company actually does, but um, you can Google, can't you? Maxfly DDH500. So again, this is one of the ones from 86 to about 1990, I would say. 
Ball's in good condition. Next, uh, what's this? Peugeot. Oh, right, okay. Peugeot, French car company. And it's Peugeot Citroën, isn't it? They're, they're part of the same company, I believe. Peugeot and Citroën are part of the same underlying mother company. So Peugeot. I've never owned a Peugeot. But that's it. And some kind of Lion logo, isn't it? Is that their logo, Lion or something? Peugeot on a Titleist PTS90. Um, I don't remember that as being one of the ones I've had pre-1990. So again, this could date to about the year 2000, possibly. Peugeot, okay. Next. British Gas Eastern. Well, British Gas... The biggest gas um, company in Britain, they supply gas to people's houses for heating and cooking. And Eastern, well, I live in East Anglia, which is part of Britain. Um, so presumably this was some promotion they were doing in the Eastern area. On a Dunlop 65i, very good condition ball. Again, I've had that since about anywhere between 86 and about 1990, I would say. That's a that's a nice one, nice condition. Next, what's that say? Golf Club Crans, I believe. Golf Club Crans, yeah. And then what's that saying red at the bottom? Oh god, that's not Swiss. Oh okay, S U I S S E, I believe that says. Red on black is not the easiest thing to see, and it's also tiny. But yeah, Swiss. Golf Club, Golf Club Crans, so that's from Switzerland, oh, all right, very nice. And that's on a Pinnacle No Cut, Pinnacle No Cut. And it hasn't got any cuts. Uh, this one dates to, again, 86 to 1990 or so. <clears throat> Good condition. Next, Standard Life, that sounds like life insurance or something like that. Standard Life on a Titleist. PTS wound ball. Um, <clears throat> again, I presume this is one of the ones that's closer to the year 2000 since I've had it. Next, CA White. Is that a business or is that someone's name they've just said put on? CA White. Ah, ah. Building Contractors. There you go. CA White Building Contractors. That's on a yellow Maxfly DDH 500. So again, this one dates to between 86 and about 1990, 1991 maybe. Okay, next, Chevron, huge American oil company, uh, lots of scandals involving oil companies. I think that's that was in the papers just the other day about... Um, they got fined, was it in Ecuador? Was it a huge amount of money? Hundreds of millions of dollars that they're supposed to pay up for polluting land there. And they've started to sue the person that beat them in court for something else. You know, they, they, these are the companies that have got so much money they can just counter sue, even if they've done something wrong. Chevron, clean up your mess, you scumbags. Don't pollute the earth. And that's on an Ultra Wilson 432. Aha. Uh -huh. Chevron ortho what does that mean again google it if you want to know but chevron as a company you need to clean up the mess you've done to the amazon chevron ortho don't know what ortho is but there you go uh when i've had that well ultra 432 balls are ones that were around between you know up to about 1999-91 so i reckon i've had that since about then next um Rosswood Country Club, that's a nice logo, isn't it? Pinecone as a logo. Rosswood Country Club, don't know where that is. That's on an Ultra Wilson 432. So again, date-wise, that's, you know, 89 to about 91. I've had that. Ball's in good condition, logo's in good condition. Next, Ford. I'm sure you've all heard, heard of Ford Motor Company. Didn't he invent mass production of cars? The Model T in about 1932 or something like that. And he said, um, 
You can have any, any colour you want as long as it's black. <laughs> Famous quote. Ford. So I've, I've owned a Ford. Um, Pro Staff, Wilson Ball. Again, this will be one I've had since somewhere between 86 and 89, I would say. Very good condition considering its age. When you think about the year, just, just count how far back that is. Uh, so you've had all the 1990s, all the 2000s, all the 2010s. So, yeah. Probably at least 32 years old, this ball, if not a bit more. And as I've said in previous videos, I don't know whether I'm going to sell these. I'm filming them just to show them to create videos, basically. Um, obviously, I'd be open to an offer if I got a particularly good offer, but don't bother offering me a, a tiny sum of money for them. Um, if you want, if you if you if you're a collector and you see a load of balls that you want, you know, if you, maybe you've got a logo collection and you'd like to add my five hundred to your collection, I'm open to offers, but. Don't be rude, don't offer 50 quid for 500 balls, if you see what I mean. The offer would have to be decent. I'm not going crazy, I'm not expecting a million pounds for them, but feel free to offer me that amount if you want. Uh, anyway, next ball, Jaguar. I'm sure you've all heard of Jaguar Cars, which is now called Jaguar Land Rover, isn't it, the company? Jaguar, um, expensive, I don't know if they're hand-built. Rolls-Royce are hand-built, but Jaguar, known for being expensive cars that aren't particularly reliable i would say and that's on a slasinger 480 wound again i reckon i've had this since somewhere between 86 and about 1999 i would say slasinger 480 that's in good condition jaguar and they they won le mans didn't they in about 1990 somewhere around there Right, next, Buildax Brandt, and then there's a phone number, 01683 So presumably that's, is that an American company? Ah, hanging out, but then, no, I was just going to say, there used to be different phone numbers in Britain before they all changed. Um, no, I think that's probably an American number, Buildax Brandt, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's on the title list, 384LT100. Fairly rare type of ball. Um, LT, I think, possibly stands for low trajectory. And it feels like a blatter. So I believe, you know, the soft cover that all the professionals use. But didn't used to get many of these back in the day. So this wasn't a particularly popular or mass-produced ball. So this could be pretty rare, actually. Build X brand. Decent condition ball. Hmm, Okay. And, and as you can see, the, the quality varies on my balls. Most of them are, I'd say, decent, but I've got a few that are a bit scuffed up. A few of them, there's a two or three in the whole collection would have cracks. So, you know, they're not all perfect, but um, it's a decent collection. Very, and very unique collection. No one else in the world will have this collection. I guarantee that. There's no one else has got the same 500 logos. Barclays, that's Barclays Bank. There you go. Barclays Bank, uh, one of the main banks in Britain. And as usual, most banks are involved in massive scandals. Barclays is no different. I'm not sure if this is one of the banks that had to get bailed out by um, the government when there was that financial crisis in, when was that, about 2006-ish or something? There was a huge, the markets crushed, etc. And banks needed to be bailed out, which is outrageous. But anyway, um Barclays on a B fifty one XD plus by Slesnia. Again, I reckon I've had this since somewhere between eighty seven and nineteen ninety nine. One very good condition ball. Very nice. Oh, and there's something else that was written there, which is now rubbed off. So Slesnia B fifty one XD plus, and then it did say something there. T W, and then the rest of it's pretty scratched off. So. Anyway, good condition one. Next. Oh, that's a nice logo. A car remit. Don't really remember this one. Remit. Good logo though. Very good logo. On an ultra tour titanium straight distance ball. Wilson. Um, fairly decent condition ball. Don't remember this one. So again, I presume this is one of the ones that dates to about the year 2000. 
next? What have we got? Rotor Tech. Rotor Tech. Don't know anything about that company. So that's on a Strata Tor Ace. And as you can see, it's got the Ace, like you get on packs of cards as part of the logo. Strata Tor Ace. Don't think I've got many of these. And I don't remember this one. So again, this is probably about the year 2000. Basically, I did most of my collecting between 1987 and somewhere around 1990, 1991. And then I had a huge gap. And then I did a, I think I, I probably went two or three times, did a bit of collecting in about somewhere around the year 2000. I, I can't even be exact on that date. And then since then, nothing for the last couple of decades. So anyway, next logo, brand, brands, paper, papers on a top flight XL2. By Spalding. Um, again, I presume this one dates to somewhere around 1990-1991. Next, the Royal Bank of Scotland. Occasionally, you get Scottish banknotes in your change in England, but not very often. And of course, um, Scotland. Well, some of the people in Scotland want to split from. Britain and uh, they said if they do that they'll have to print all their own banknotes and I think the Royal Bank of Scotland or someone said they would move out of Scotland it wouldn't be economically viable to do that in Scotland so anyway Royal Bank of Scotland Scottish Bank and that's on a Penfold Ace number five I know that's Penfold there we go Penfold Penfold Ace number five good very good condition ball and again I've had this since probably between 86 and 89 so it could date to before that it could be a few years before that oh no oh no battery on my camcorder is going to run out in three minutes so i'm gonna to have to cut this video short video three is going to be a bit shorter than i was hoping for I should have checked that before i started so next one speed queen what on earth does that say 80 years and then what's that in tiny writing god that's hard to see uh speed queen what I can barely make that out, to be honest, folks. I mean, you might be able to read it on a bigger screen, but I'm looking at a tiny three-inch camcorder screen to film this. And I'm struggling to read what that little writing is at the bottom. Is that washers or something? Washers and dryers, maybe? Oh, it's hard to read. Home and commercial, I think it says at the bottom in black. So presumably that's what it is. Washers and dryers. That sounds like an American thing to say. Pro Staff. Yeah, that's it. Pro Staff Ball. Good condition. Really don't remember this one. It could be from up to 1991, maybe. Maybe it was after that. Can't remember. Right. Still got three minutes on my battery, so I'm going to keep going. So, as I've said, uh, open to offers if anybody wants to buy these. But I'm probably not going to sell them, to be honest. So, next logo. Millican. No idea what that company does. That's on the Maxfly DDH2. Uh, I think, again, I've had this sometime up to 1990, 1991. Next. Poinciana, Florida. Nice logo. Okay, that's on a Wilson Staff TC Wound Serlin 90. So we know 90 is compression. Decent condition ball. Can't really remember this one, but again, most likely it dates to somewhere between 1999-91. Right, I'm down to two minutes, so when it gets to one minute, I'm probably going to stop because um, it could cut off at any second. So 6.25, 6 what on earth is that? 6.25. Uh, oh, ah, there we go. We've got a heart logo like that with R for registered trademark at the top. And tiny that's a decent logo pink green and purple 6.25 what on earth is that anybody knows what that is please tell me that's on a wilson staff titanium uh wilson straight distance ball again i reckon this probably dates to about the year 2000 6.25 what is that please let me know i'd love to know what that is 
All right, let's do a couple more balls, and then that's probably going to be it. I'm getting a dead leg anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> Pain. All right, where's the logo? Uh, next logo. What does that say? Kiverton Park Steel Limited. K-I-V-E-T-O-N. I think that says three kind of purple rings. Kiverton Park Steel Limited. No idea where that is. Uh, that's on a Titleist HBC Distance L. Not a ball I know much about at all, so I'm sure this is not one of the ones that pre-1990-1991, so this is probably from about the year 2000 that I've had this one. Right, I'm down to one minute, so I'm going to wrap this up. I'm a few short of what I intended to show in the third video, but that's fine. Um, so you've seen all the ones that are in the egg boxes, basically. How many have I done? 6, 12, 18, 24. So I've done 28 in this video. Okay, never mind. So what I hope was going to be 10 videos is probably going to take longer to film um, if that sort of thing happens again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please look at my other videos in this series and I'm going to attempt to film all 500 of my logo golf balls. So keep checking back on my videos, folks. Subscribe to me, like the videos and please leave comments if you've got any comments on any of the balls you want any information um, please leave me a comment on, on the youtube video and i'll try to answer you all right thanks for now and uh, please remember to look through all the other videos in this series this is video three and i'm going to try and make it into about 10 12 videos to film my entire collection anyway thanks for watching folks Bye bye